Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Yesterday, my son found this weird type of rock. At the beginning, I thought it was just a slab or a magnetite because he found it in the strangest places. It was at the mall, and you know, they have all these rocks. They just put it to make, um, you know, the side roads. And then this rock just shows right up. Okay, because he was thinking of making you know, smelting a, a rock that has metal in it and he was looking around and he saw this rock very strange isn't it it's like heavy in some sense it feels pretty heavy and um, it's, it, it looks on the surface it's flat and has this very smooth like surface almost here in um, metallic to it but it's black and dark and you can see bumps along it like as if it's bubbling up or something but it's very smooth bump if you can see that let me zoom that in there okay like almost a moon surface or something it's really strange and then on on the edges there's this very thin line black line across about a mill meter thick in some 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 place it's almost um uh two or three mil thick and then there's this like little white here you can see that white spots along here and everywhere scattered and then it's actually black metallic around it as well so there's, there's, um, um, I don't know, it's metal and dirt in be crushed in between, right? And the weird thing is, I had this, I was measuring its, um, magnet, maybe it's like, you know, mag magnetized rock, which is a rare type of rock, right? It's magnetites and meteorite rocks has this kind of phenomenon, but so when I, Proceed to measure it. Look at this. Look at that. It's strange. It actually has um, a slight magnetism to it. Let's see. There. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. There. Ooh. It's. Look at that. It's magnetic right through the whole rock. It's strange. And so I went home and then I made this magnetic uh, refrigerator, put on a string to see if it's attracted to this magnetic field. So let's see. See, it's attracted to it. It's really there. See, strange. Eh? So, look. Okay, watch this again. See that? Try that again more. So it was magnetic. The rock is magnetic. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely magnetic. So you can see that. Smooth surface, metallic, dark, metallic surface. Looked like a fusion crust across. Very thin, about a mil to. Um, two or three mil thick little dot white dots circular around it density I measure density it happened to be around 2.9 to 3.3 so I dip in water measure the volume difference and then measure the mass take the mass divided by the volume get the density 2.9 to 3.3 so if this is magnetite it should have a density of greater than 4.5 it's not um, and 
the only thing that fails on the test for me to write rock is that when you scratch on it, it gives a streak. Now, some say streak is not the best way to test whether it's me to write rock or not. In fact, it's a lot of false negative. Of course, I would I do not know for sure. So it it passes three or f four out of five tests for me to write rocks. Right? So it's magnetized. It has a smooth surface, a metallic like surface, dark black. It has a fusion crust you can see here on top of that. Very thin uh, line. Its density is between 2.9 to 3.3. The only thing that did not pass for meteorite testing is that it gives a streak line, black line, so it looks like it's uh, magnetites but the density doesn't match in magnetites. Okay, so I am perplexed on what the heck this rock is. Please tell me what it is. I thought it might be a slap from some metal smith long time ago or magnetites and the worst, or oh, not the worst, but the kind of the most unobvious choice would be and I hope it is, for me to write rocks. That maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a portion of it, but I'm afraid of any, um, you know, damage it, is to cut this portion here and to see the inside. Hmm? Maybe I'll cut using diamond blade to cut through this portion here to get inside of it. Also, what I found is that this rock actually has rust. Very strange. So it means that there is iron here. You can see, and you can see that here. There's rust along here, along here, and tiny part on the surface here, here, and here. Okay. So it's magnetic. It's rusty. Its density is quite high, 2.9 to 3.3. It has these white nodules everywhere. It doesn't have to be round sometimes in this right, right, uh, triangular shape. There is a thin layer of black line of metal slap on it like this, and about one or two mil thick. It's magnetic, as I said before and there's actually dirt whatever it is in between the, these burnt mark like metal surface you can see if you can see let me just zoom in here it's so obvious when you see it up close there you see that like it's almost like here you see look strange this is metal burnt into this rock like I said, I, I don't know, maybe it is um, a slap, but a slap, I'm not positive it could be like this, mix slap mixed with rock, who knows, and it's rusting, um, because it's iron, I guess, right, but it's magnetic, really strange, I do not know, so if you know what this is, please tell me, so I narrow it down to magnetites, which, the problem with that, it's has high, it has low density, magnetite has 4.5 to 5 uh, grams per centimeter cube, where this is only 2.9 to 3.3 centimeter cube. So that kind of rule out the magnetites. It might be a slap, that's the only thing that I can think of. The only problem is that you have these rock formation kind of in integrated into the slab. So very strange, and there's this, this uh, cross fusion on top of it. You know, unless some uh, metal smith decided to pour the metal on top of that and this rock is just crushed, that's a possibility, right? Okay, and it's magnetic as well. Smooth surface, but magnetic. Okay, so only three things. Um, magnetite, which the density is too low for that. Slap, most likely, but 
problem is that it has all these, it's fused with the rock itself. Okay, so there's m more rock than there's more metal in some way, kind of. This is thin layer, black, metallic, burnt right through, like just covering the whole rock, very thin. So unless someone, some metal smith actually pour it on top of the rock, who knows, it's possible. But then there's also metal right through because it's magnetized right hole through here. Strange. Lastly, which is very rare, could be a meteorite rock. I really don't know because where we found it was not obvious that it's a meteorite rock. It's probably moved to that location. Some, some construction workers, when they broke the rock or took the rock, didn't recognize it as a meteorite rocks. Who knows? But again, this would be the last thing I think of that maybe meteorite rocks. So, think, tell me what you think what this rock is. Rust. Yeah. <laughs> 